Hello friends I am Sara I'm Vicky Welcome to Moral Story Welcome to Moral Story The state of Mexico in the United States currently has an area known as Toy Island This area was formerly known as the Floating Garden It is a small town located at a distance of about 1.5 hours from the lake to the other side of the lake This is one of the scariest places in the world today How did this floating garden become a toy island Let's see Let's go into the video Let's go into the video About 1.5 hours by boat from the island is a small village dating back to the 19th century. At that time three girls were playing in the street in that village. It was then customary for the lotus and jasmine to bloom in the large lake adjacent to the village. The girls went to the side of the lake to play. Then one of the girls had a desire to pluck the lily that was in the lake. So the little girl jumped into the water without knowing the danger. That little girl had a habit. He will still be with the toy. He will take care of the toy as if it were his own birth. Thus the little girl was with the toy when she went down into the lake. The girl did not know how to swim and drowned. The other two girls who saw this were scared to look at it and not knowing what to do they went home and told them what had happened. They go to the house of the girl who drowned and Eric goes to the shore with them and searches for the girl. The body of the girl who went into the water in search of various places was not found. It is believed that the girl may have been swept away by the flood waters. In this case Don Kalyan went to the area in the middle of the 20th century. He traveled around the lake by a small boat from the village. Then there was a beautiful island a few miles from the village. He loved seeing the island. Immediately the boat headed for the island and landed on the island. Within minutes of his landing on the island a great shock awaited him. From the island he heard a voice like a sari. The voice asked him, "Why didn't you save me, dad?" He was shocked to hear that and looked around to see if anyone was on the island. There was no one else on the island but him and only one toy was found on that island. When he picked up the toy and saw how it got here, he heard the voice again. The voice said to him this time, "Save me somehow, dad." When he heard this, he was shocked and got into his boat with the toy and went back to the village where he had taken the boat. He went to the village and showed the toy to the people there, telling them what had happened to him. Then an old man in the village said that many years ago a girl in the village drowned with a toy in the lake and the girl's body was not even found and the girl had a similar toy in her hand. When he heard this he heard a voice on the island. He thought the little girl who had fallen into the lake and died was still floating around on the island. Then he went to his house with that toy. There he wanted to be alone. He never spoke to his wife and children. The call of that asari voice on the island as dad caused him great distress. Only then did he begin to think that the child would be the father of the previous janma. He could not stay at home from the next day. It has always seemed to him that he should go back to that island. Immediately he left his wife and children alone without thinking of anything and took the toy he had brought and went to that island. He decided to stay on the island. He has decided that he does not want the outside world and that toy alone is enough. He then began to build a small house on the island with the materials he had found. He lived in that house. He also left the toy he had brought hanging in the house. Then in a few days he began to farm on the island he did not know what appeared to him. He would take the produce to the village in his boat, sell it to the locals, buy a toy and return to the island. This is what he began to do every day. He would come to the village every day and sell the produce of his island and buy a toy with the produce available on it and return to the island. On his way to the island he would tie the toy to the trees there. This is what he has been doing for 50 years. Thus the island is full of toys. He is the owner of the island because the villagers have been doing this for years. They all talked about how he sells goods on the island in the village for his livelihood. But for many years no one but him went to that island. So what does he do to anyone in that village? The toys did everything, as no one knows. One day after the 1990s, a photographer came to the village to sell his produce on the island. He heard about that floating garden that was specific to him and decided to go to that island. It was only when he traveled about 1.5 hours to the island that he knew. It was revealed that the island was a horror island. The most terrifying toys across the island were made of wood. There have been more than 1500 toys on almost the island. Seeing this he was shocked and took a photo of it and brought it to his outside world. The news went viral in almost all media at the time. Don Julian died of a heart attack in 2001. News of the island spread before he died and many horror loving people flocked to the island. This is why he has been mentally embarrassed for some time. The girl was pronounced dead at the scene when she died. Many claim that the girl killed him. Today the island has become almost like a tourist destination.
It is said that the girl and Julian still live on the island in ghost toys. Everyone who currently travels to the area carries a toy with them when they visit the island. Is the asshole who asked Julian true? Who is the dead girl from that village? All this is an unsolved mystery. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.